Hey everyone, I have a quick word to release today. And today's word is, it's actually based on a dream I received from the Lord last night. And the title is, you'll be honored in the same circle where you were slandered. You will be honored, <coughs> excuse me, in the same circle where you were slandered. And I've got two scripture references today. The first one is, of course, Psalm 23, 5 and 6, because the Lord has brought this uh, to my attention numerous times. <laughs> I know I've used the scripture, but the Lord keeps giving me dreams about it. And it says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely good goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And the second verse, it's Psalm 75, 7. And it reads, it is God alone who judges. He decides who will rise and who will fall. So basically in this dream, I was in an old workplace where I was lied on, I was slandered, um, my name was dragged through the mud, and um, you know, it was all a tactic by the enemy, but the Lord used it as a setup to really um, propel me into my destiny. And that's what the Lord does. He allows these situations, these, um, people to attack us and it's really the spirit in them attacking you it's a spiritual battle ephesians 6 uh 10 and 11 and 12 for we battle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and evil in high places so i was back in this workplace and i was like aware in my head that like i like of what had happened in the past. And so I was kind of like even saying, you know, we were sitting at a table in, uh, and having like a meeting around this table. And all of a sudden I saw my old boss walk by and I was like, oh, he's gonna come in here and tell me to leave, you know, because actually when I left that job, <laughs> called security to escort me out like it was it was actually really funny because like I didn't do anything um you know that would require that actually it was when I came back to like retrieve my items he had like security standing there with me like I was some kind of you know criminal or like threat and I just like got my stuff and left but um he was there, so you know, you can imagine in the dream, I was like, oh, he's gonna call security, or like he's got something's gonna happen, you know? And so basically, um, he comes over and he came like into the boardroom or the room where we were having this meeting, and he sat down and like he wouldn't even look at me, like he couldn't look at me, he was looking down. And I was just gonna like get my stuff and leave because I didn't want to interact with him, obviously. And so I, but my jacket was like, he was like sitting on it. So like I had to interact with him and I just asked him to hand me my jacket and he literally like would not even look at me and he like got it and like gave it to me and like did with his head down, like almost like he just didn't want to look me in the eye, you know? And so I asked the Holy Spirit, you know, what is this dream meaning? And again, he's saying that you're, you're going to be honored in these same circles where people slandered you in the past. The Lord is rising up um, his remnant and, you know, he alone judges. He decides who will rise and who will fall. And through, um, you know, some pretty like difficult experiences in your life, the Lord actually allowed it to happen to catapult you into your next. And he's raising you up. He's elevating you. He's giving you a platform and you're actually helping many people through this platform. You have the right heart posture. You have the heart of Christ. And this person who slandered you, this, especially the ringleader is going to have to, you know, bow his head really and like won't be able to look you in the eye because it's going to be obvious that everything he said and did about you in the past was a lie 
And you know, the Lord is, if this is this, in this season, the Lord is exposing bad fruit, bad trees, you know, it's harvest time. And if you've been sowing good seeds, then you're reaping a good harvest. But if you've been sowing bad seeds, then you're reaping a bad harvest. And so many of you have been sowing good seeds. You know, you've been, you've planted a beautiful garden and it's harvest season. And I released another word on that the other day. The Lord is, is giving you territory. He's giving you a platform. And ultimately it's all for his glory so that we can take back territory from the enemy. You are, um, you know, sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ on this earth. And I can tell you the enemy is mad. And listen, I usually don't share dreams that I get from the enemy because I don't like to give it any, um, anything really. But you guys, last night I had this dream and it was like, I don't want to like get too much into it, but basically there was this woman who was overrun by a demon and she, we were on a bus and she like fell down next to me. And it was almost as if like she was drunk in the dream or something, but her face was all like bruised and bloodied. And she was like an older woman and she got up because it was like her stop or something. And she literally turned to me and just got like right in my face, like, ah, I hate you. And I knew it was a demon in my dream. And I literally, you know how like a lot of times when you have a demonic dream, you can't, it's like you, you have to fight to say the name of Jesus. Well, that was the case in the stream. I couldn't talk, but you guys, I just looked at her. And in my mind, I was thinking about the blood of Christ. And I was thinking about our heavenly father. And I just looked at her as she was like in my face, like, ah, and all of a sudden her face turned and it was like this woman, like, help me, help me. Like the demon had left because I, just from me looking at it, piercing eyes with the fire of Christ, you know, inside me, working through me, I didn't even have to say the name of Jesus. He was flowing through me at this entity and the entity left and this poor woman then it turned from this like raging in my face to like help me help me and so you know the lord released me to share that dream because you know i almost feel like the lord stepped into that dream and and you know <laughs> kind of took over and then it also shows that people who are um raging against you who um are getting in your face who have such a contempt for you there's a spirit behind it and so we need to pray for these people because when this demon left this woman she was like frightened and and like help me help me and we need to pray for these people, even the people who are coming against us, who are speaking death into God's purpose for our lives. It's a spirit behind it. And so we need to pray for these people. We need to pray for their healing and deliverance. We need to pray for the Lord's perfect will to be done in their lives. And the Lord is elevating you and anyone who comes against you is coming against God. And ultimately, God decides who will rise and who will fall. And these people who, who slandered you, who did you dirty, who talked about you behind your back, they're going to be held to account. And not only that, they're going to have to watch you sit at your table and feast at the table the Lord's prepared for you. And they're not going to want to look you in the eye. So again, I'm not sure who this message is for today, but we need to pray for these people. We need to pray um, that the Lord's perfect will is done in their lives. And just know that you will be vindicated. You will be honored. Stay in relationship with Jesus Christ. Stay in alignment. Stay in prayer. Stay in the word of God. And don't um, forget where you came from. Don't, you know, allow the Lord's elevation in your life to give you a big head. You know, always remember when he was pruning you and stretching you and always remember as well, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. If he elevates you and you can't handle it, 
he will take it away. He will take the platform away. But that's why he's been training you so vigorously so that you don't fumble. When you are elevated, when you are under a high level of scrutiny, when you are persecuted because you are a follower of Jesus Christ, you will not flip. You will not go back to being a double agent. You will not flip and become an agent for the enemy because the Lord has tested you and tried you for this assignment. But even though you're tried and tested, don't ever, you know, stay humble. Don't get a big head. Always remember where you came from. So I'm not sure who this message is for today. Please take it to the Lord for confirmation and test the spirit behind every prophetic word including mine i want to welcome all my new subscribers to the family if you feel the holy spirit's uh guiding you to sow into this message i would encourage you to do so i pray for all of you who receive these messages that the lord will go before you that he'll follow behind you that he will continue to lead guide and direct you into his perfect will for your lives i pray that these messages edify the body of christ that they glorify God, and that they ultimately uh, spread the gospel of Jesus Christ on this earth. So again, I'm not sure who this is for. Take it to the Lord for confirmation. But just know that I love you all so much with the love of Christ and stay blessed.